right, Susan, and obviously more as we continue to learn more on that story. Back here, criminals shooting at Detroit police in two different cases, making for a wild last night in Detroit. And today, newly released video showing us just how chaotic things got. The good news, no one ended up shot or even hurt for that matter. The bad news, though, more and more violence aimed at DPD, who today are pushing back as best they can. Rob Maloney live tonight with a look at what happened in both of these incidents. Rod. Yeah, Devin, you know, this is the in the age of the dash cam and the helicopter cam. We get a very good close up and personal look at the violence on Detroit City streets last night. In the first incident, there was a carjacking that came after the police chase. The second one was a traffic stop that ended in a police chase, and it was all punctuated by gunfire. They just took shots again. They're shooting again. They're shooting again. The MSP helicopter helped guide ground officers in scout cars. Multiple shots, multiple shots. Fire six, four shot. who ended up dodging a hail of bullets fired out the sliding pickup rear window. This chase through three different downriver communities started as a traffic stop, the wrong plate on the truck, three armed men in the front seat, and this is what's called a pit maneuver. Police use their cruiser to push the truck offline at high speed. Yet the first hit didn't end the chase. The truck spun around and the MSP officer had to give it a second indelicate push. Driver's out. Driver's out. He's armed. Driver's out. Got a gun, long gun in his hand running. Officers apprehended all three men there. Earlier in the afternoon, DPD patrol officers heard gunfire, then ended up chasing three men in this red car that slammed into a church near McNichols on the west side. They bailed out. One accosted a woman with children asking to hide in her home. She said no. He fired a shot at a pursuing police officer before he took off in her silver Ford Flex that was running. Two men caught. One man and that Flex remain on the streets. DPD's Captain Charles Fitzgerald lamenting the shootings and in particular a 14 year old's participation in these violent outbursts. The individuals in the first caper last night fired shots have lengthy criminal records. The young man, this 14 year old man that was driving in the second incident was just arrested two days prior for a non-fatal shooting and he was released on a very a horrifically low bond. Now, you may wonder what that was all about. Well, we're told, first of all, the 14-year-old was behind the wheel of that Dodge pickup that you saw there. And they also say that he was at a vacant home in southwest Detroit uh, or about a week ago with his girlfriend. And he allegedly shot her in the back. Police are saying that that young woman is likely to be in a wheelchair for the rest of her life. Reporting live downtown, Rod Maloney, Local 4. Oh, boy. All right, Rod.